Have you ever felt like an observer watching life unfold from the sidelines? That's the life of Charlie, the protagonist in Stephen Chbosky's renowned novel, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. This coming-of-age narrative, penned by Kaboski, is a deep dive into the trials and tribulations of adolescence. Charlie, our main character, is a high school freshman. He's not your typical hero. He's introverted, introspective, and more comfortable observing life rather than taking part in it. As we journey with Charlie, we experience the myriad of emotions that adolescence brings, excitement, fear, confusion, and the desperate search for identity. This book doesn't shy away from the difficult topics. It grapples with mental health and the transformative power of friendship, serving as a mirror to our own experiences. It's a reminder that even in the most turbulent times, we're not alone. Now it's time to dive into the chapters and see how Charlie's story unfolds. The story begins with Charlie's anonymous letters to a stranger, pouring out his deepest thoughts and fears. As we delve into these letters, we uncover a narrative that is as compelling as it is heartbreaking. Each chapter serves as a portal, offering a glimpse into Charlie's mind, his struggles and the events that shape his life. We see a young man grappling with his mental health, burdened by the death of his best friend and feeling a profound sense of isolation. His words echo the loneliness that often accompanies adolescence, a time of life fraught with confusion and existential dread, but it's not all bleak. As Charlie navigates the stormy seas of high school life, he finds a lifeline in the form of two fellow misfits, Sam and Patrick. This burgeoning friendship brings a sense of belonging into his life, a much needed reprieve from his loneliness. Their shared experiences, laughter and camaraderie illuminate the darkest corners of Charlie's world, adding a touch of color to his otherwise grayscale existence. Through his letters, Charlie also explores the complexities of first love and the awakening of his sexuality. His feelings for Sam, both confusing and exhilarating, mark his first steps into the world of romantic relationships. The trials of growing up, the heartbreaks, the triumphs, and the bittersweet lessons learned are all vividly captured in Charlie's letters. Yet it's not just about the highs and lows. It's also about the mundane, the everyday moments that, when pieced together, form the mosaic of adolescence. The late night talks, the mixtapes, the drives through the tunnel, they all contribute to the tapestry of Charlie's life, each thread as significant as the other. Charlie's journey is a roller coaster of emotions, filled with moments of joy, pain, and profound self-discovery. His letters, raw and unfiltered, serve as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a reminder that even in the midst of despair, there is always hope, always a chance for redemption. As the story progresses, Charlie uncovers dark secrets from his past, leading to a heartbreaking climax. The climax of the story is as poignant as it is powerful. Charlie's repressed memories surface, revealing a haunting past that has been buried deep within him. These memories, painful as they are, trigger a mental breakdown, sending Charlie spiraling into a state of anguish and despair. It's a moment that is as raw as it is real, showcasing the devastating effects of unresolved trauma on the human psyche. As Charlie grapples with his newly discovered past, he finds himself at the precipice of despair. But rather than succumbing to his inner demons, he chooses to fight. He seeks professional help, a step that marks the beginning of his healing process. Charlie's journey towards recovery is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, underscoring the importance of seeking help when needed. Throughout this tumultuous period, Charlie is not alone. His friends and family rally around him, providing him with the much-needed support and love he needs. They stand by him during his darkest hours, reminding him that he is not alone in his battle. Their unwavering support is a beacon of hope for Charlie, a constant reminder that he is loved and cherished. In the end, Charlie learns that while life can be harsh and confusing, it's the people who stand by us during our darkest hours that make it all worthwhile. So what makes The Perks of Being a Wallflower a must-read? This book delves deep into the raw and real experiences of adolescence, exploring sensitive themes with a finesse that resonates. It brings to light the significance of friendship and acceptance, underlining the importance of mental health awareness. It's a poignant reminder that we're all fighting our own battles, some visible, some not.
In the words of Charlie, we accept the love we think we deserve. Let's remember to give ourselves the love we truly deserve. Until next time, keep turning pages and exploring new worlds.